Understanding how, when, and why RNA goes to different places in cells and tissues is a next frontier in biology. RNA localization has been studied over the years in a small number of specific model organisms for a small number of targets. But it's very clear that the majority of RNAs exhibit specific localization patterns. We're very interested in understanding how and why those localization patterns are formed in the context of health and disease. In the past, RNA localization has been studied using uh, very precise biochemical and imaging-based tools uh, to better understand how these RNAs and why these RNAs go to certain places. But with uh, new technologies such as deep sequencing, we're able to now not just look at one single RNA, but look at thousands of RNAs across the transcriptome and look at where they are in specific cells. One of the projects that we've pursued in collaboration with members at University of Florida as well as individuals all around the world is generating a deep sequencing based data set of muscle transcriptomes from myotonic dystrophy patients. This transcriptome data set has been extremely valuable for us and for the field because it's allowed us to understand the basic pathogenesis in this disease. Now that we're at the University of Florida and we're surrounded by fantastic colleagues in the neurological disease and neuroscience fields, we're very interested in taking our muscle transcriptome data set approach and applying it to central nervous system defects. My name is Eric Wang and I'm a part of the research landscape at University of Florida.